Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, in the third video of this GCP series, today I'm going to talk about how to create a new brand Windows VM instance on GCP Cloud, on Google Cloud platform. Very interesting, very important to know, very easy that how to create a new VM instance by using the compute service of GCP. So how to do that? First, you simply go to cloud.google.com and then you have to sign in guys you have to create an account over here and you have, while creating the account you have to give your credit card details and they will deduct only one rupee or 0.1 cent a few cents they will deduct just to verify that okay you are the real user and this credit card is uh, valid or not and after that it will be refunded back so you don't worry about that and then you will get a free uses of three months they will credit $300 for 90 days 90 days means around three months you can use all the free services and uh, in India it's around uh, 22,000 or 21,000 they will give it to you in your Google Cloud platform account and then start using it and after when you cross it then only you have to pay for it so 21,000 I think it's a decent amount you can do a lot of practice within this particular uh, 90 days and you can utilize your $300 so I have already created and then you just need to do the same thing. So when you uh, create the account and after that you have to sign in. Before that you have to click on start for free. Okay, so I'm going to sign in now. I've already created one dummy account and uh, for this particular video series, click on next. So I have logged in. So when you log in after that you have to go to their console on GCP console. So simple go to go to console. And console is nothing a GCP platform dashboard where all the services you have to create your uh, projects billing everything will be displayed over here so you can see that okay one project i've already created naveen automation labs project likewise you have to create multiple projects over here and in the left hand side menu you can see that these are the billing api services support and security everything you can see and then there are this, these are the compute services these are the storage database networking operations uh, different tools resources are displayed over here so you can use any of them according to your use cases right now after that what you have to do you have to create a new brand project so simple go to this and uh, click on new project and then you have to enter the project name over here so one thing you need to understand that all the projects should be created or can be created under one organization so let's say I'm working in some ABC company and that ABC company is uh, having multiple projects one project is, let's see for uh, some networking solution one project is for let's see for banking application one project is for HR application one project is for some other application let's see some uber app or something like that so in that case what you have to do that you have to create multiple projects under one organization and then you have to allocate number of team members and the resources and the teams for that particular project so organization is the umbrella under that umbrella you will have multiple uh, projects and under those projects you have to create multiple services you have to use that like vm or uh, docker engine or big table or big data whatever you want to use that right so first thing you have to create the project so let's say this is a project i don't have any organization so I, you don't need to do that because i'm using it as an individual uh, purpose and then click on create i'm not going to create a project because a project i have already created so when you create the project you have to add the billing information along with the project so for every project the billing section will be different so let's see in one organization you have 10 different projects so 10 different billing sections will be there because 10 different teams they will be using it how much they are using it what is the cost and everything what are the different services they are using it accordingly per month billing will be generated accordingly but for you it doesn't matter $300 you can use it free of cost okay so I'm just going to cancel it I'm not going to create an account uh, a new project over here the project is already created for me the next thing what I'm going to do that uh, you can simple go to okay before creating the project I mean before after creating the project what is happening this is the project name project ID and the project number if you go to go to project settings you will see that okay three important strings over here project name project ID and the project number project name is the user defined you can give any project you can change the project name after that whatever the name that you want to give you can give that project ID and the project number will be given by GCP and it's globally unique and globally immutable it means it cannot be copied it cannot be changed right guys it's it's fixed and it is globally unique means if the project id is given to you 
then no one can use this particular project id other than this particular project right guys so <clears throat> this is an important thing to know about then uh, what you have to do you just simply go back you have to use their compute service to creating the vm so we will simple slightly go down go to compute engine you can see that and we have to create one vm instance over here okay tomorrow you want to create any kubernetes engine or you want to create any cluster that also we will do it later cloud function just like we have aws lambda you can create cloud functions also vmware engine also you can do that so we are going to use compute engine i'm going to create a new brand vm over here and today's topic is about we have to create one windows vm so what i'm going to do that uh, here you will see one create and you can see one documentation take the quick start you can do that and just click on create now when you click on create it takes few seconds to display this particular form you have to fill this information that what is the vm name you want to give so let's say i'm giving a uh, navin a uh, demo vm for windows okay windows so this is the vm name whatever name that you want to give label i'm not going to give in which region you want to create so by default let's see i have selected it's up to you which region that you want to select it i'm selecting us west one this is la and you can select some european region also or asia pacific if you are in india you can select mumbai singapore the nearest one also you can select that and then in this particular uh, region there are multiple zones here we have four zones are available in this particular building in this particular region you can select whatever the zone that you want to have it so let it be like this the region uh, is a zone number a and, and then what kind of a machine family that you want to select so general purpose i'll select and then let's see the there are multiple types of series one is second generation and the first generation second generation is the latest machine i'll be selecting the n2 for powered by let's see intel so let's select this powered by intel which is saying around two cpu a core you will be getting with 8 gb ram let it be like that and now we have to select the boot disk right so we have to select the image the windows image by default it will give you the linux image so we will click on change and uh, after clicking on change we will go to public image and then we will select the windows server over here and then from the second drop down you have to select the specific windows server machine you have to select so instead of selecting the core machine data center core i'll be selecting let's see 2012 r2 data center i want some look and feel i want to see and uh, you know almost all these configurations are almost same the only thing is the version uh, differences are there let's see i'm selecting the windows server 2012 r2 data center select this and then persistent disk i want to select minimum size you have to put the storage that is a hard disk size is 50 gb you cannot write 10 over here or less than 50 it's saying the size cannot be smaller than the size of the chosen disk image 50 gb so we have to at least make it 50 gb that is more than enough for you guys and then click on select when you select then you scroll down access the scope <clears throat> let it be allowed default access right now we are not setting up any firewall so whatever the http traffic or http s traffic that we are uh, okay let's select only http and then click on create when you click on create you can see a message creating instance this instance and uh, within few seconds the instance will be created now as compared to aws and microsoft azure uh, gcb claims that the instance can be created within few seconds and it's very fast you can see that okay instance got created a new brand windows machine vm got created now now the two important thing is what first thing is that is the name second thing is a zone now another thing is that ip addresses so there are two type of ip address one is internal ip and the second one is the external ip internal ip this is the machine ip address that is a typical a laptop machine ip address or the <clears throat> hardware machine ip address sorry this is not the laptop the external ip is that from the outside of the world outside of the vm i want to access i want to do a remote access or whatever or rdp i want to do that uh, remote desktop uh, uh, access i want to do that i can use this particular ip address now the fourth column the th last column is the connect column and here you will see that uh, rdp and then you have to do two important thing first thing is that you have to set your windows password right just like our my laptop i'm using windows machine and then i have to set up my windows password over there right first time so select the set windows password 
and this is a username whatever the username you want to select so let's see i'm giving admin as a username and click on set and it takes few seconds to set the username and will automatically generate one password and you have to use that particular password and save it somewhere in your laptop in notepad or something okay you cannot set the password the password will be set by the gcp only okay by the google only so let's wait for a few seconds and let's see what kind of password it is generated but now you can see that okay the new window password got created and this is the password got created now i cannot change it it is not editable guys so you have to understand this the importance of this simple copy this from here and then paste it in your notepad somewhere because we will be using this later on so let me just paste it over here after that click on close now this new brand vm got created and we have set up the username password also windows password also we have set now second thing is that you have to download this rdp file when you click on this rdp file you will see that okay it will give you one rdp file what you can do you can directly open this rdp and you can do the remote login to this machine directly just clicking on it it will automatically open the remote desktop connection and you can connect over here without without any problem and you can see the ip address the external ip address is same 34 37 34 71 167 144 the same ip address is written over right second thing is that if you really don't want to use this particular rdp file you can simply cancel it you can copy this particular external ip address go to your a uh, search over here and simple write mstsc that is for the remote desktop connection on your laptop you can make the connection with this particular uh, uh, windows by passing this particular ip address so i'll just copy this and then click on connect you see that okay it is this is the username admin and the password that we have set already that is i'm just going to copy this particular password from here copy and then i'm going to enter the password over here once again in just a second so yeah this is the password copy paste and then click on okay and then it will say that okay yeah certification yeah so let's accept it that's not an issue simply click on yes and it will try to connect wow awesome this is what i want you can see that okay it's preparing the windows machine and then on the gcp windows instance got created and uh, you can see windows server 2012 r and it's doing some processing initially and then a new brand windows machine i got right so i'm saving the hardware cost right instead of uh, spending two three thousand dollars on my new laptop better you just take an instance over here and then start using it for your purpose now what you have to do you have to verify a couple of things let's say i'll go to this uh, or i'll go to uh, windows over here right click on your this pc and go to go to go to go to let's see you can go to manage or let you go to property and here you can see this uh, property is a manufacturer google cloud platform this is a model virtual machine processor we are using intel 2.8 gigahertz 8 gb ram 64 bit operating system so this is also perfectly fine you can open your command prompt as well you can directly come over here and then you can search for the command prompt. let's see a simple search for the command prompt over here just a second okay let's enter cmd command prompt you can enter and whatever the command that you want to enter you can check right now it's a blank machine guys you cannot uh, <clears throat> i mean right now you cannot access because nothing is there if we check java is there or not java is also not there anyways we can download and you can download later one thing you can check that okay are you able to access internet or not so simple right now we have by default first time we will be getting internet explorer open this particular internet explorer browser and uh, let's see simple click on okay and simple try to enter google.com security alert click on okay simple i don't want to see this click on close yep and you can see internet is working fine let's i'm searching anything over here let's see naveen automation labs so make sure that okay it's working fine later on if you want to download chrome browser or something like that you can simply do that perfect you can install java you can configure jdk you can configure docker everything you can install it over here like that so that those things i'll tell you later in the next video but this is the first video that we have to understand how to create a windows instance likewise you can create linux instance also so once your work is done guys you can simple minimize it also and you can simple open it also like that so when you minimize it you can see your uh, a laptop machine laptop screen and this is the remote desktop for that gcp cloud vm instance i can simple close it also it means connection i'm going to disconnect now
Now, once your work is done, you can simply disconnect. You can suspend this particular machine. Why to use unnecessary? Otherwise, it, they will they might keep charging you very few cents or few rupees over there. And the charges are very, very minimal. So you don't need to worry about it. I'm, I'm pretty much sure everyone can spend some some amount of money for practice. Hardly it will cost you very less amount of money. Now, one thing, how will you make sure that okay that you are able to connect or you uh, this machine is up and running or not? What you can do, you can do you can open your command prompt and uh, let me just clear the screen and you can upping this particular machine that this machine is up and running or not so you open your command prompt in your laptop simple right ping and the ip address of this machine 71.167.144 and then ping it if you are getting the response you can see that yeah we are getting the response but we have okay so let me just uh, time out we are getting because we haven't connected so here uh, receive tool yeah again we started getting it now you can see if you're getting some packets over here send equal to four and receive equal to two it means the machine is up and running so you can check it once again you can ping it once again and check the machine is up and running see you are getting the reply from the machine like that okay so it means the machine is up and running you can ping it directly from there directly okay from the command prompt okay so this is the VM and once the VM work is done, you simply select this particular VM and there are multiple choices. You can restart, you can refresh the uh, VM. You can uh, simply start once again, when you suspend it, when you stop it, you can restart once again. This is just like restarting the hardware, restarting your laptop. Same thing, you can restart your machine, the VM machine also. And then uh, reset also, you can do that. And then if you really want to delete, right guys, so better to delete once everything is done okay so i'm just going to delete this and click on delete and after a few seconds <clears throat> they will be calling uh, delete api to delete this particular vm so vm will be deleted after after some time right so this is about the creating of the windows vm on gcp cloud very simple just like we were using aws ec2 instance that we created same thing we are doing it over here on gcp we are using the compute engine service and creating a new brand windows vm over here now you can see that vm got deleted i don't have any vm in this particular project okay guys so thank you so much thanks for watching this particular video if you really like this video please subscribe to the channel and like it and click on the bell icon so that you will be getting the notification for the next video thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video